This character is read hiru, and it means noon, midday, or daytime. Let's have a quick peek at the way it used to look. Now, the one thing that you can notice in each case is this element here, this round element with a dot in the middle, and in each case, that's the sun, because obviously anything to do with time has always got a sun in the middle because we measure time by looking at the sun. Okay, above the sun you can see again a similar theme. It's actually a hand with those fingers going across holding, oh this one's missing it, but even this old one's got it there holding a writing brush. So let's have a look at the more modern one. This element here is a hand holding a writing brush and underneath we've got the sun and then we've got a line on the bottom. Now here's the modern kanji from Japan and we can see that the top portion of the kanji which was a hand holding a brush it's been abbreviated to this element here so across and down in one left to right down on the left and down on the right so that's an abbreviated version of a hand holding a brush but have a look at that and contrast it with the letter R. In my mind, it's much easier to think of that element as being very similar to the letter R. And because this is midday, I'd like to think of this element as being right in the middle of the day. So we've got R for right in the middle of the day. Now underneath, we have the sun. And of course, that's as usual down on the left across and down on the right, all in one without taking your pen off. Middle stroke goes next, left to right, and finally you close that box off, left to right. So at the top we've got R for right in the middle of the day, then we've got the sun, and finally we've got the horizon underneath, because we've got the sun rising up above the horizon, and of course that takes us to for right in the middle of the day. And that's midday, pronounced in Japanese, hiru. And finally, we can use hiru to say hiru yasumi, and that would be our lunch break at school. Let's quickly remind ourselves of the stroke order of hiru. We've just learned that, so you should remember. There's the sun in the middle and the line to finish off. And then we simply add the kanji for break, yasu, that's the kanji bit. And then we have to add the hiragana mi to finish the entire word. And there we have hiru yasumi lunch break.